We will start with problem number uh, 15. The problem goes like this. We have been given the following information. The information is given like this. Here, return on Wipro stock, return on BSC. This much is given. So here, the information about 5 years given, 5 years return of Wipro stock, 5 years return of BSC and average is given. So we have to find out there are four questions. What is the beta value? First one. What is the alpha value? Second one. What is the coefficient of correlation? What is the coefficient of determination? So there are four questions. We will go one by one. So first we have to identify in this which is X and which is Y. So like a particular company stock that is going to be Y particular uh, sensex or a market value will be X so this is most important for you to identify the market is BSC X particular company stock is Y if it goes variation reverse the problem will be in wrong so we will proceed further first is X square then means Y square then x into y, remember we are doing under direct method we can do different methods, I am doing a direct method, one of the easiest one so we will go for x square first here 0 0.1 into 0 0.1, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 like that we have to square the x values over here 0 0.01, 0 0.04, 0 0.09, 0 0.16, 0. 2, 5. Then we have to go for squaring the y values 0.2 into 0.2, 0.3 into 0.3 like that. So y values so squaring the all y values we are going to get these values over here. Then we have to go for multiplying x into y or y into x, that is not a problem. However, what we can do, so 0.1 into 0.2, 0.2 into 0.3 like that, we have to multiply and write the values under this particular column 0 0.02, 0 0.06, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.33. Then we have to go for totaling all the columns. Coming to the first column that is year, there are 5 years given. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n is equal to 5. We have to go for totaling x and y columns also. So y column is giving here the total of 2. x column is giving 1.5. Similarly, x square total, y square total and summation x y total summation x square total 0 0.55 summation y 0 0.9 summation x y 0 0.69 so we have to check these values once, double check, then we have to go for the working. If any of the one number is gone wrong, the entire answers will go wrong, so you have to be very careful. After totaling all the columns, now we have to go for first working. Before we go for calculation of beta or alpha, whichever, whichever is the one. So let us always start with working. Working is x bar and y bar. That is average of x series and y series. To start with summation x divided by n. Summation x is 1.5. n is 5. Similarly, summation y is 2 divided by 5. 
so it is going to be 0.34 x series and 0.44 y series so once you find out the working this will be helpful for working further so we will go for that calculation of beta now while substituting you have to be very careful again starting with n n is 5 summation x y 0.69 summation x 1.5 summation y 2 so divided by again starting with n that is 5 summation x square 0.55 minus summation x whole square summation x is 1.5 whole square so substitution has to be very careful and we have to verify before we go for simplification so let us go for simplification now. So when you simplify 3 or 5 into 0 0.69, 3.45 minus 1.5 into 2 that is 3 divided by 5 into 0 0.55, 2.75 minus 1.5 whole square. Simplify further, you will get 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.5. So the beta value will be 0 0.9. So that is the first calculation, calculation of beta. Then moving on to calculation of alpha, the second question. So I have simplified the equation. Alpha is equal to y bar minus beta into x bar. So this working will be helpful for calculation of uh, alpha. So let me substitute y bar 0 0.4 minus beta 0 0.9 into x bar so 0 0.3 so let us simplify and you will get the answer 0 0.4 minus 0 0.27 so alpha is equal to 0 0.27 so alpha is equal to 0 0.13 so after calculating the beta, uh, alpha and beta we are moving on to the correlation in the correlation you can observe the formula of beta and formula of correlation the numerator is same denominator has changed little bit the first part of it is same but denominator we have the square root then this square root multiplied by n into summation y square, y square minus summation y whole square similar to this so you have to be careful how to remember the correlation formula and beta formula if you know very well you can extend that to the correlation formula so going for the substitution again the numerator remains uh, same Denominator But we have to remember we have to put a square root Then square root of again N into summation y whole square Summation y square 0 0.9 Minus summation y whole square Summation y is 2, so 2 square. So here, simplification we have to be very careful. I will go for simplification. Further, you will be having here 
2.75 minus 2.25 square root again multiplied by 5 into 0 0.9 4.5 minus 2 square is 4 so we have to be very careful further 3.45 minus 3 0 0.45 divided by 2.75 minus 2.25 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 square root 0 0.707 again 4.5 minus 4 is 0 0.5 again 0 0.5 when you put a square root you get again 0 0.707 so simplify further, you will be getting 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.499 or you can take it as 0 0.05. So you can take that way. So R is equal to 0 0.902. So when you divide 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.499. Correlation value is 0 0.902. Last one is D, calculation of determination. Determination is nothing but R square. R is nothing but correlation. So R square is the value of determination, coefficient of determination. So let me substitute. So approximately when you square small variation may come, don't worry. So whatever R you have got, square that, that is the value of coefficient of determination.